this is the best 16 teams and it's the home team that they are getting ready for Spain against Canada Gareth Reese is this Canada's time well we're about to find out aren't we in this crowd would love to see a victory here Canada looking for their first as are Spain here on day one in Vancouver Spain have had the recent form over Canada but again that Vancouver date is the turnover from the veteran Canadian side that went to the Olympics, finished top eight in the Olympics, mass retirements, coach Henry Paul trying to bring together a much younger group, captain by Phil Burnup, Brendan Prevost will be pulling the strings. And for Spain, De Juan will captain, and Nieto was very good in the previous matches, and Paul Pla always a key playmaker for Spain when they're going forward. Yeah, the locals are going to enjoy this. They had two close games. Canada were in their matches against Australia and South Africa, but couldn't finish. So the roof is going to come off this place. It's currently closed here in Vancouver. Canada in the black jerseys and Spain in red. Carlton now, this is what the homeboys train for. This is why they want to be picking up a rugby ball and playing sevens. And the thing is, too, they'll want to send their home crowd off on day one happy with the win Spain with one of those nuggety teams aren't they easily beaten by Australia had their moments against Republic of South Africa but this Canadian team were oh so close on a couple of occasions if they get their set piece Royce they can challenge any team on the circuit Canada were very much in both those matches as I said they're currently 14th on the HSBC World Series table Spain are 9th Yari Rivero, the Argentinian, is in the middle on the whistle. Maybe not the most important match as uh, Full C has been decided for the quarterfinals, but what an atmosphere to referee in. Absolutely massive atmosphere. And the thing is, too, Reese, when you're down on that ground, you can just feel everything it's so close to the crowd. Canada playing from right to left. That's Cooper Coates. Everything's underway. He's kicked it long and he's found the turf. Bounce comes up to Spain. Possession deep in their own end. That is Nieto. There's Brenny Pervo flying up. Makes the tackle. Spain backed up to their line. Five meters from their line at the moment. Fopla looking at the short side. Teals right over. The Canadians celebrate and they've got the call. Well, he's a guy I know you really rate. Jake Teal. He's been good. Especially with their turnover. Strong over the ball. Yeah, Jake Teal, I actually referred to him by his father's first name. Rare pedigree for a sevens player, two international props for parents. But he and his brothers have chosen to play behind the scrum. Cooper Coates goes on his own. Two meters out, Canada. To vote, to burn up. Ergas, lots of space. And listen to this crowd, they'll tell you, David Richard has scored for Canada. Yeah, but you can take that back from the turnover from Jake Teal. The number two and then from there it was an execution under pressure there's the quick ball ball into space on the chest as well the defense jams in and they leave that man unmarked david richard yeah great prospect for canadian rugby 21 years old out of milton ontario actually got injured and missed the jap the spanish legs of the world series playing 15s for kingsley jones's national team against portugal but he's back now and he scored the extras don't quite get there. Canada 5 0. Now, for this young group, it's backing up effort. So, regardless of where this one goes, they went right down the middle of the park on the last restart. They've got to chase up in a group and get turnovers, get in numbers. High hanging kick, beautifully claimed by Manu Moreno. That's what Spain needed at the moment. Just a chance to. Get their hands on the ball, run a few phases. Again, the Spanish style, they're happy, leading often in passes, keeping possession. Good step through the middle. Richard now in a defensive capacity. Brings him down. Moreno dancing, stepping. He's brought down. Lopez. Juan Martinez. Doesn't go to hand. Three Spaniards outside. Canada is just about enough to get back, but the offload out of the tackle keeps it going. Great backing up from Spain. What a response from them. Nico Nieto gets the try. They're very balanced. 
the Spanish outfit in close quarters. That was what makes him so dangerous. The build-up was great. It was fantastic. In fact, there's the dummy. But the offloads, the draw and two defenders, there's still a lot of work to do here. Good, strong carry by De Juan. And then the offload there for Nieto. Lot to admire about that build-up in that try. Yeah, Nieto's going to come off some good form in Singapore. Three tries. He's added one here. And the extras are good. So what happens when you defend against a team like the Spanish are so good with their nippy football, you've got to keep tight in the middle, and those guys in the mid have to work hard side to side. We'll just keep an eye on that table. They're fighting it out for third or fourth. Obviously affects their seating in the ninth place playoff section of the tournament tomorrow morning here in Vancouver. Coots claims the kickoff. Free ball up through the middle. High tackle. High tackle call. It'll be interesting the attitude of this Canadian team. Do they kick to the line out, which they did Thank you. against South Africa? Did it work for them, though, the execution, or do they just tap and go? Looks like they're going to go to the line out. Yeah, Brandon Prevost on the ground there. We saw a shot of him sort of trying to fill the massive boots of Nathan Hiriyama, the playmaking role. He got a good taste of action with the abbreviated version of the series in Edmonton and Vancouver here. Cooper Coates, another leader there. Good sports brain on him. He's had a high-level soccer player from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Now he's throwing in the lineup. Teal bobbles but regains. Richards. Against his opposite number, literally. Burna. The man who did his university up the road at the UBC Thunderbirds. One. One. Rebo lays it short. Great line from Ergas, and he's got the pace to finish it. Elias Ergas will bring this crowd to their feet. Canada Sevens try for Elias Ergas. Well, just watching their whole sequence of play. They were very flat on their first attack. They didn't go anywhere. They came back very flat, didn't go anywhere. Then finally, Ergas was the one that hit a short line. I guess the blade hands going as well. But finally, someone working and hitting that short ball. Well done. Well, another member of the Thunderbirds University team debuted here at that 21 series. The truncated version from Vancouver, his sixth event. And a big moment for him in front of the home crowd. Thunderbirds, they're Phil Mack. <laughs> Phil Mack has coached a lot of these players in the development program. Of course, a great Canadian sevens player, member of the HSBC World Dream Team. He and John Moonlight, it's pretty remarkable. At least some names for you. <laughs> so, Canada up by five. Less than a minute to play. A bounce goes to Brennan Grimaud. A wicked bounce for the Spanish. The Bravo will take it. What I've liked is the restarts and the variation on them from this Canadian team. They've gone down the middle twice. They've regathered those twice. And here's the third one. Just the change up bounce is brilliant. And the age old added kicks only as good as the chase. And that's one of the best chases you'll see today. But we did say when you find the turf, anything can happen. You saw the pedals, but look at the opportunism. Brennick Bravo. A man with a little bit of Welsh heritage. Also from Victoria, the University of Victoria Vikings, celebrating here. Oh, now it's a good end on shot. You can see Paul Pla, the Spanish player, just blowing up. Say, what's going on? We should be covering that. They did it, and now they find themselves three scores behind. Oh, Bravo guilty of having a look at the big screen. See how good it was. But what a way to end the first half. We are going to have the restart. Again, Coates, why not? Goes long again. Spain didn't deal with it last time, and they haven't dealt with it. That'll go into touch, and that'll do it for the first half here. Well, the Super Series is not disappointing. The home team putting up a big score, 19 points to 7 over Spain. Well, that's a nice moment after two tough losses earlier in the day. The men in black, the Canadians, will get their drinks. We have crowd buzzing. 
A little bit of dominance there. Those restarts key for Canada, and that's been the possession they've exploited. Yeah, totally. I think it's really been in the secret. That's where they've got their confidence from, and things are starting to work for them. They're all getting keen when they're in their position, and you got their flow on. Well, this is the big one to come. South Africa, who have had so much success here in Canada. Just 20 minutes to wait for that one up against Australia. Oh, yeah, one and two. You can see there in the seedings. There's the Aussies warming up. They've been good today, too. But both of these teams would have known this is going to be the match for them to see who was going to top the pool, and it's worked out that way. South Africa won three of the last four, but things are a little bit different with New Zealand, Samoa, and Fiji back in full force. Here we go, second half in Tulsi action. Spain looking to claw back a 12-point deficit. Beautifully taken by Brock Webster. Canada playing with real confidence right now. Beautiful flip out the back door, but Ergas can't get two hands to it. It's not an option. Oh, the thing, it was there. No option. It was definitely on. Just for well, it gives us great pleasure to uh, invite in a man to the broadcast who's run 32 series events, Sean White, new assistant coach. Congratulations, and uh, good to see you there on the sideline. Yeah, thank you very much, Guy. Um, really a real pleasure to, uh, to join the group here, and I'm looking forward to it. How much did you target this game against Spain after two tough losses earlier today? Oh, my, I don't think we targeted any game more than the other, but we, we were good in game one, uh, we improved in game two, and uh, we're just looking to execute our game plan in, uh, in game three, and, and we seem to be doing it at the, at the moment. And what's been the basic message from you and Henry Paul to this very, very young side that are just trying to find their feet and give this crowd sure. something to cheer about? I think it's just patience, you know? You, we've got to let the game come to us. Um, at the moment, we're, we're seeing the value of the kickoff and controlling the ball. Ah. Um, and, um, and yeah, I think the more we can control the ball, we can control the game and, and just looking to take care of each moment. All right. Thanks, Whitey. I appreciate your discipline on your not exclaiming there. Great to see you there, bud. <laughs> Thank you again, guys. Have Cheers. a good day. Paul Pla gets one back for Spain, much to the chagrin of the Canadian coaches. What a beautiful offload there, Carlton Anna. Oh, yeah, and that's the evolution in the game of seven is the offload. There's so many different ways you can do that, regardless if you're Spain. New Zealand, Fiji, whoever. It's a real feature of the game now. And it's very tough to defend as a player when you have to try and stop those kinds of passes. And I'm sure this will be a bit of a concern for Coach Henry Paul and Sean White. Canada's gone up in their early games. They're not able to hold on. Just five points of difference now. McAllen on the field. Bobbled. We definitely had a momentum shift here. They've taken the crowd out of the game. Deep into the 22 now. Spain go with possession. Zedes goes wide. Duan keeps it alive. Gets the ball to Paul Pla. And Paul Pla gives Spain a chance to take the lead. Well, two tries within a minute from Paul Pla. Retention from the restart. You see Canada and Coach Sean White spoke about it, controlling the restarts, they control the game now. That's flipped to a 180, and Spain are just dominating there in the second stanza. This is to take the lead for Spain. The left boot of Juan Martinez is sweet, and he silences the crowd for the moment. Spain take a two-point lead. Another variation on the pass over the top, the one hand, and now this is where Canada need to take control. They've been pretty good receiving these kickoffs, but after that next phase, that's where they have to be a bit more organized. Well, you see the ebb and flow of that game. There's a lot more orange in this second half. They've come right back to take the lead in this one. And on the field is Mata Uru.
the big Zimbabwe Calgary product. He came on late in the South Africa game too. Brock Webster's away! He's got the pace! Wasn't much on there, but Brock Webster will take Canada into the lead as he scores under the post. Yeah, a bit of injection off the bench from head coach Henry Paul, and it does the trick for Canada. It was exactly the phase I was talking about. They got the restart. They had one ruck, and then they spread it wide out to their guy with a lot of lungs and a lot of speed. And Brock Webster finishes from deep. Well, Brock Webster, a product of Uxbridge, great high school program there. Recently been watching a league. We've been keeping an eye on the Major League Rugby. He's had a bit of a run with the Toronto Arrows, but he's back to HSBC World 7s now. That's an important lift for his teammates, as are the extra two. Now, the Canadians have been kicking it down the middle of the park on their restarts. It'll be interesting if they try and isolate the player no there. Turn, no turn at all. I'm not turning. Well, you heard it in our cameras. That's great stuff. He's not turning. I'm not quite sure what that means, but I'm sure his teammates do. Just trying to get it barely ten, and it does nudge over the line. But Spain will have possession. Sarah starts deep in his own end. It's good. Counter ruck is good from Canada. And they won the penalty. And you see Brock Krebs just saying, just slow down, boys. Well, it's a five-point advantage at the moment. Looks like they're going to sit for the tap, are they? Got to have a move here. This will be massive in the context of this game if they can score. I wonder if he's thinking about a shot at goal. No, he's going to have a go. Set piece straight from the training pitch. Let's see what happens. Goes in behind to David Richard. One-on-one -on -one battle. He steps wide, looking to create something wisely. Stops his incursion. Canada maintaining possession. Minute and a half to play. They're up by five. Sit down. Says Berna, but he's lost the ball. So, Spain, a lifeline here. Paul Pla, he's got two in this half. Can he get a third? Falls on the ground. Pla's on it. Canada's over the top. Nick Allen's won the penalty. He's over here. He's over here. Yeah, that's a great turnover from Allen. And again, they'll set up their play. They had two back doors last time. I think they're going to go to the line out, which hasn't been the best so far for the home team. Brock Webster just nudging it down the sideline. The territory won't matter. Here's the pass. Stops. Wuro takes one in the face, but he sticks with the tackle and finishes okay, it. Okay. That's the toughest of wait. the young lad. Here's him on. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Well, Wuro, who, uh, wait. if you don't think he's tough, he went to the same high school as the Beast Ready? in Zimbabwe, Churchill High School. Come on, boys. Canada looking to maintain and control possession. Allen just gets one mitt to it. That is that enough? The time's ticking away. 40 seconds to play. Canada not playing too wide at the moment. Allen gets picked up and dumped, but there's support there. 30 seconds to play. This is straight off the chalk where the offload. Allen going, but again, why is he not running away from his support? 20 seconds to play. Ergas straightens up. It's through a half gap. Deshaun Bowen over the top. His ruck technique is no. challenged. Money the foul is out. Spain have a chance to seal this one. And the pass is forward. Oh, man, oh, man. That did so well at the breakdown to the Spanish. There's the full-time Uda. So we're going to have a scrum. Ball was out. Good recognition. From Ergas to try to score. Oh, he was right there though, to be fair. Yes. The referee, but man, there's a massive call. Oh, watch. On you, Phil, on you. Crouch. So, Boy. set piece. Spain will be set. trying to disrupt. Canada will be trying to gather and get it off the field. And then listen to their home crowd cheer. There's a big scrum. Canada's done it, and Gongo takes it off the park. The Maple Leafs waving, and a nice moment here for the Canadian team and the home crowd. Carl Tanana, not the quarterfinal spot they were looking for. 
but a big moment to lift him for tomorrow's play. Well, you know what this means for this young side, getting up 26 points to 21 over Spain. It's massive in terms of the confidence of this Canadian team. It means like they were so close in their first...